videotape this, which I'm now doing. So if I sound a, a wee bit distracted, uh, more than normal, it's because I'm also uh, serving as a cinematographer. Well, I want to remind people that we want you to play along at home. Mm -hmm. So this is very simple. Hopefully you're in your kitchen, you have a microwave, get out a mug. Okay. You're going to need a mug. Start with a mug. Yes. Okay, and what else do they need? Okay, you're going to need one egg, you're going to need a little cooking oil, some Wesson perhaps. Mm -hmm. You're going to need some hot cocoa mix, the powdered hot cocoa mix, okay. and uh, some water and some Pam spray, and, and that's it. Okay, and a microwave. And a microwave. Uh, it's not any more complicated than that. <laughs> All right, so um, uh, Sean, you also have uh, fixins. Jen, you've you've yes. made uh, you've made uh, you've got the all the provisions for two of these uh, cake cups. Yes. Okay, so how does this go down? Okay, the first thing you want to do is take your Pam spray, and you want to spray your cup mm -hmm. so that your cake will come out. And you're using a Beatles mug, mm -hmm. which is good. Did you bring that from home, or is no, that... um that was here. Okay, and Sean, you have... What's your I mug say on it? I have a Bonneville Seattle corporate mug. Oh, good. You corporate tool you. Sorry, the man. <laughs> All right. Okay, so and, once you've uh, sprayed your cup and it's ready for its ingredients, the first thing you're going to do is measure out four tablespoons of flour. Okay. Okay, good. The next thing you're going to need is your hot chocolate mix, and this okay. is where the measuring gets a little crazy because you want nine tablespoons of hot cocoa. Okay. Okay, so once you've got in your four tablespoons of flour and your nine tablespoons of hot cocoa mix, then you add an egg. Mm. One egg. Do you need to mix before? Yeah, you might as well. So stir in your one egg. It says um, you don't want the cup to overflow, so go ahead and stir in that egg. But if, if your cup runneth over, that is kind of a good thing. Okay, now I'm a little worried. Is that egg? Is that egg going to be properly cooked? I mean... Oh, yes. You it's, sure? Well, I, I know that somebody commented on our blog that people get, get sick from doing this, yeah. but I don't think that's true. Oh, well, I, you mean you studied at St. Regis, so... Okay. Is it? Is it... It smells like cake in here, so yes. that's something. Oh. That bell, when you hear that bell ring, it means that <laughs> we're making microwave cake. Okay. okay, hold on. So now what you want to do is add... Stir like the wind, Dottori. Three tablespoons of water. Oh, okay. Okay, so now you're scooping three tablespoons of water into the Beatles mug. Okay. Maybe a little more. Oh, okay. I see. You know what I hate is when people refer to cooking something in the microwave as nuking it. I don't know if it's because we've had a. We don't want to think about radiation. We've had a rough. We had a rough eight years with the pronunciation of the word <laughs> nuclear, or if it's just because it's like that kind of faux jocularity that nerd nerdy people like hey uh, I'll just nuke it and I got my lunch it's like it bothers me tarjay. yeah so how please much, how much uh, oil three tablespoons we're to our final ingredient okay which is three tablespoons cooking oil okay you have to cook them one at a time I guess you have to yes. I'm sorry you have to nuke them one at a time yes. okay Jennifer is putting her little uh, cake into the microwave it's set it on in. three minutes three minutes all right, we're uh, we're almost done with Jen's microwave cake, uh, and then when that, that's done, we'll pull it out. We'll take a oh, snip, I don't think they can. And then we'll uh, we'll take the oh, yeah. cake, and then we'll cook Sean's up during the commercial. Oh, it looks Fascinating beautiful. As this is. I don't know, Sean. Did you and did you get a little um, cocoa? In? Oh my goodness! If that it's a cup of cake. It's absolutely beautiful. It's all puffed out, and uh, it's like a frothing mug of birthday times. It looks absolutely Be gorgeous. Careful, uh, Sean, I'm just... Sean, I just, don't touch it with your... With your Viscosity... Germ uh, finger. finger. I washed my hands and didn't touch my nose much. Please don't pet the top of the cake, though. <laughs> okay, what we're supposed to do is is take it out. Oh, okay, now now this... Oh, this is the real trick. Do you have to invert Jen's, it? Jen's going to try to actually remove the cake from the mug using... Oh, it's coming right out. And oh, it's got steam. <gasps> look, look at, at that. that. Well, well, my oh my. Isn't that pretty as a picture? Looks like a Actually, it looks muffin. exactly like a cupcake. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, it does. It looks like a blueberry muffin. No, it looks just like cake. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Jen sometimes just like just feels if she insists enough, then reality will bend around. Who's going to have the first bite? Jen's, uh, Jen's tasting a little bit of it. What, what, what would you say? Um, it's definitely very cake-like. It's pretty dense uh-huh and I don't think it's quite sweet enough uh-huh it's a little bland kind of tastes like a brownie but like the world's most bland, bland brownie. brownie yeah it's not bad I'm gonna eat my entire yeah my entire little uh tuft here uh -huh. do you declare this a success an overall success Jennifer and that we ruled it out as an option for office cake making <laughs> you rule this rule is ruled out now I think so
We don't love it. Yeah, but some, you throw some chocolate chips up in this mug and... It's better than a cashew bar. I mean... What isn't? Yeah. Look good, smell good, taste good, it is good.